These Pokemon sets are impossible to complete because you can only get the cards by attending your local Pokemon League. It's literally the only way you can get them. There's series one, two, and three, and there's over a hundred cards in each of them. This is impossible to do. Now, Pokemon prize packs contain cards from previously released sets. But the thing that makes these cards from the Pokemon prize packs so unique is that in the corner of the card is the Play Pokemon logo. Now the majority of the cards inside the set are competitive cards, which is phenomenal. But for the fans out there that like to just collect and maybe they're not so much interested in playing, there's definitely some collector cards in there as well. In series one alone, there is a Charizard VMAX, which is literally like the hardest card to get. A couple of weeks ago, I asked all of you if I should do the impossible, making three binders and completing every Pokemon prize pack series. Well, I'm doing it. Now, something happens in this video I was not expecting. This doesn't even have anything to do with Pokemon prize packs. Someone at Pokemon League wanted to trade me gold star Pokemon cards. Yes, gold stars. But the thing is, is that they wanted a sealed booster box from my collection. And I only have one of these in my collection. But in today's video, I, I had to give him an answer. You'll see what happens. So I put my Pokemon card binder building skills to the test. And let me tell you, this one is really hard to do. There's a checklist on Pokemon's website and it's not the most helpful. I love you, Pokemon, but those three lists were hard to read. We got Eeveelutions. There's literally a Series 2 Umbreon VMAX that is crazy hard to pull. There's Charizards in all three sets, but there's a lot. And as you see, building these binders and going to League as much as we do, we are still missing so many cards. So that means we had to go to our local league and go on a Pokemon trading spree. Before we head in, can I just point out that it's 50 degrees outside right now and just last week, not even not even a week ago, just like literally a few days ago, it was negative 11. It's 50 degrees now. What What is going on? Can somebody tell me if there's a Thunderous, a Landorus, a Tornadus in the area? What's going on? I'm telling you, Indiana weather is wild. But I'm sure like everybody says that about their own state, right? Like everybody says like, oh, my state's weather is the absolute craziest. I got my trade binder ready to go and I'm almost positive that I am creating some sort of scenario where this is an impossible Pokemon card binder to complete. Well, anyways, let's make some Pokemon trades. Oh, I've signed in over here and uh, got my prize pack. So this will definitely help out. I'm gonna open this up later. We'll add it to the binder, see what we got. What kind of goodies we got over here? Ooh, some nice, oh, I see a Charizard now, two Charizards, nice. Okay, and Polion over there. We got some playing going on here, but both of these are your deck, right? Uh, no. Wait, no, wait, oh, oh okay. Helped, you helped me complete Oh yeah, I did, I did. Is that the exact one I traded you? That one right there? That one, probably. It's gonna so, knock out his ass. So if you win, then I kind of win. Yeah. As well as what you're Absolutely. saying. Okay, so let's take a look at some binders right here. We got two different binders. This one is definitely able to trade, and this one is a maybe possibly be able to trade. I still need the Charmander with the Pokemon Center logo on that one. I have the regular version though. Ooh, possibly maybe Mirage Gate, Canceling Cologne. I mean, those are prize pack ones. There's this stack. Oh, we got a stack over here too. So we got a Rhyperior, got some energy. Just non-stop energies at this point. Oh, there's a secret rare energy and a water one as well. We got Radiant Jirachi, Quaxley, which I already do have the Quaxley, so I don't need to worry about that one. Pikachu VMAX, a little bit uh, old school right here with the Hitmonchan, the Deoxys VMAX with like the alien type of vibes going on, the UFO for the Warbeetle. And then these are not for trade, but we'll show them anyway. We got Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. And Blastoise is in the nice little case right there from the Charizard EX box. Now let's go into this binder, which is, and some of this stuff could be a maybe in here. So we'll have to see if there's anything that we're interested in. We see Full Art Trainers on the first page right here with the Cafe Master. We got Arvin as well. Weirdly enough, I feel like I might need that Arvin. So I'll have to check my list on that one. I know I have the special illustration one, but not the regular one. Another canceling clone in Mirage Gate. We already saw those in that stack over there going into the fire Pokemon with a lot of Charizard goodness. Ooh, the Charizard goodness just keeps going. Look at that. We got an Entei there as well. The grass Pokemon and then fighting as well. Ooh, Quaklova EX, ooh, maybe. In your head, you gotta have like a, a little bit of a checklist in order to keep track. I do use a, a certain app to keep track of everything. So it's on my phone and I film with my phone. So that's why I have to like pause and check my list at the same time. 151 is now complete. So I don't have to worry 
about getting any of those. Look at that nice tag team from Team Up, Mewtwo and Mew GX full art back in the sun and moon era. All right, so you picked out the uh, Hidden Fates Decidueye GX right here, the shiny Decidueye. Oh, you do? Nice. And uh, with uh, Paldean Fates coming out, it's nice to kind of complete some of the older Fates sets. We got Radiant Venusaur. And we got Dialga GX from Ultra Prison back of the Sun and Moon era. And then also we have the gold Eternatus V. And I do need the Arvin, the Fuller Arvin for Scarlet and Violet base set. And the Radiant Halucha for my impossible binder that I'm working on. So those two for those four. Do we have ourselves a deal? Yep. Boom. Right. It's a deal. Yep. All right. We're going to sign a binder here. Is there any certain spot that you wanted me to sign it? You can... Right down there. Look at this talent right here. I can sign and hold my phone at the exact same time. Uh, now there is some uh, some prize pack cards right here. Mimikyu EX, which I actually might need that. I got a damage pump, trekking shoes, and an armorous. Yeah, possibly, possibly that Mimikyu right there, actually. Oh, there is a lot of good stuff inside of this binder. Oh, we're definitely gonna be checking our list here. A little bit from uh, every different era. Ooh. Got a nice little base set of Mewtwo right down there. We get the Verizian, Verizon Wireless. Lechonk having a good old time down there in the corner. Nice uh, jungle. Pikachu there as well. Empoleon Level X up there in the top. Yeah, there's so much good stuff in this binder. Tomokazu Kamiya, my favorite artist. Continuing on with a Nest Ball. Look at that. We got the Mega Gyarados EX. Ooh, wait a minute. I might need that. Shining Legends Raichu GX. That's definitely a possibility as well, but I know that Mimikyu. Got to go up to that Mimikyu for the impossible. All right, so you've picked out the Full Art Skyla and the Slowpoke right here. One of my favorite illustration rares. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite Pokemon, second favorite. And I... Got to get that Mimikyu for that impossible binder. And then the Seismitoad, it caught my attention right here. I had to get it from Furious Fist, Full Art Seismitoad EX. So those two, for those two, do we have ourselves a deal? Yep. All right, boom, it's a deal. All right, so we just we just finished the trade, right? Yeah. Right, and then right. another possibly, potentially other trade happening. Potentially. It walks up and then boom, lays this on the table. <laughs> the secret rare Gardevoir EX. You're right, I do. This is a card that I do need. So you teams. you saw the Steam Siege video then? Because we are opening up Steam Siege. <laughs> Absolutely, we we gotta try to figure out how to trade for this right here. I want to take a look at your binder. You take a look at mine, okay? Another 151 binder. Ooh, Logia EX. I don't need it, but always nice seeing those uh, in a binder. It's always nice seeing the nice variation. I mean, we see a lot of V's, a lot of V Maxes, and nothing wrong with that. But it's always good to see some some variation. Look, look the Dragonite right down here. Dragonite EX from Furious Fist. We got Ray Ray right there with the Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Evolution's Chansey right down there. Oh, the Dolive as well. I might need the Dolive. Magnazone EX. Weirdly enough, I feel like I have that one, but that Lucario up there that Lucario, it's got the prize uh, or the uh, the yeah, play logo. <laughs> Lots of stuff here that is going to be of uh, help Reggie Likey to the uh, Impossible Binders. Okay, so you picked out uh, Mega Steelix. You got to have the Mega Steelix EX. You said you're trying to complete the Megas. We got Absol EX, and then we got Full Art Kingdra, and then I said throw another one in for the fun of it, and you picked the Hat V Max. So we're going to go with those four, and then down here. A lot of uh, random different prize pack cards. Nothing like crazy big, but all stuff I'm going to need. Wink Alone, Double Turbo Energy, the Lucario EX, the Ho-Oh V. Um, literally all prize pack stuff. So we're going to trade. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, a lot of these are very small cards, but it's going to help in the long, long scheme of things here. So all of those for those four right there. Do we have ourselves a deal? Boom, it's a deal. All right. Getting a little bit closer to that impossible binder. Going into a very nice gold Pikachu binder. A lot of people still here, still here. Trading back there. Look at that. We got games going. Um, regionals is coming up, so a lot of people are actually testing out right now. We got Paul right over there testing out as well. We got Marie filming me for one of her vlogs. So a lot going on here at Pokemon League. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Now, let's take a look at this binder right here. Oh, look at this. It's loaded. 
very first page and it's loaded with stuff. Iron Valiant EX, which I think I still need. Rayquaza, 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 Rayquaza. Oh man, that's a good first page. And it just literally, <laughs> it just keeps going from there. Oh my goodness. This is a lot. Look at all these full art trainers right here. This is wild. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. Ash Greninja. I remember that promo was everywhere back in the day and now it's kind of sought after. Mega Alakazam, I'm prettier. Serena, oh, Mewtwo EX up there. What are you looking at? Oh, you're looking at the, yeah, the Espeon Obsidian Flames one. Yeah, we do have that one. We do have that one. It's from, Ga it's from GameStop. Do you have an extra one? Uh, anyways, continuing on here with the binder. Start getting into your binders and stealing the ones See, that's the thing. I haven't put it in the binder yet, so you have no idea where it's at. Good luck finding it. <laughs> <laughs> I have my ways. Skeledurge up there. Got Tyranitar. Wow, okay. Well, now we got to figure out <laughs> what we need. Good luck. All right, you have picked out the Hidden Fates Reshiram GX. I think that's like the second or third Hidden Fates card I've traded today. And I actually need, which I didn't realize I needed these until I checked my list. We got the Secret Rare Beach Court. And we got the Full Art tra Trainer, Grusha. So those two for that one right there. Do we have ourselves a deal? Yeah. Boom, it's a deal. All right, so you're, you're opening up a prize pack right now. And you laid down, you said that all of this is all prize pack cards? Yeah. All right, then this, is, this one's yours that you got today. Correct. Okay, let's see what you got here. I assume if you pull a Radiant Charizard, that you probably wouldn't we trade. We got the Radiant Greninja. Oh, okay. And beach, and Beach Core, and a Jacques. And a... Ah, uh, okay. All right, but is this just like all uh, like hollows as well? Just yeah, like literally holos, everything. Uh, energy. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got it. Got it out of the little plastic thing there. But let's see what all is uh, in here. Ooh, like I know I need that. I know I need that. Oh yeah, there's probably going to be a bunch in here that I'm going to need. Professor's research. Oh, Spide Ops, a Starmie as well. Oh man. You've been opening these up like like crazy. That's like a huge stack. Yeah, you. I mean, you are pretty much here every single week, right? Yes. You got time to make a trade? Of course. Okay. All of it. I need all of it. <laughs> no, probably not all of it, but a good a good portion of it. I'm gonna need. You could take all of it. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's trade. Let's trade. Find find something. <laughs> Multiple things, probably. <laughs> Wait, do you have you, do you have price cards over here too? Um, I left them at home, but I have something <gasps> else that you might be interested. In. Okay, okay, okay. What? What? Wait, you were teasing me last week with those. Yeah. Oh, those are nice. I know exactly what you want. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you want. A certain booster box. Yeah, a certain booster box from the Sun and Moon era. Go ahead and leave a comment. Leave a comment down below on what what set from the sun and moon era that you think he's after right now. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, nice. Secret rare. The Charmander right there. Oh, look at those gold stars. Look at the gold stars. Suicune and Entei. Oh, let's look at the condition of these. Not bad at all. Where did you end up getting the the gold stars? Do you remember? I do. Card show. Card show? Yep. Card show in Ohio. No, because you get... Oh. And the oh, ante is looking beautiful. Like, My goodness. Okay. Do you know? Uh, do you know the value of all of those right there? I do. What? What is that? It's sitting at seven hundred. Seven. Seven hundred dollars for all of that, and you want to trade for a certain booster box? I might have to add a couple more things for you. Okay. Okay, we might be able to make that happen. We were taking a closer look at these and uh, figured why not at least show it on camera here. I mean, it's it's very, very clean. Even a nice little swirl. I'm not like a huge swirl collector. I know you are. You yeah, love the swirls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, love you the love the swirl. swirl. Do you always make sure you get the swirl with the ice cream, right? Two, two flavors? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. But that is uh, very, very clean. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to hand that one back to you. Get a look at this one. I don't know which one's my my more favorite, Entei or the sweet cone. You know, you are you are tempting me here. <laughs> that's, that's I didn't know if you were gonna be able to to have me let go of a, a certain booster box, but I can't prepare this. Now that you have presented this right here, 
Uh, I definitely am, am thinking about it now. I mean, obviously we won't make the trade today because I don't have the box with me right here at League, but maybe next League. Maybe. Have you found anything yet? <laughs> I'm trying to trade for this entire, I guess this entire stack. I don't know. Are we, are we trading for the entire stack? All right. I think we have worked out a trade for literally this entire stack of prize pack cards right here everything here's all the hollows here's all like non hollow stuff here is v's v stars v, what all the v stuff and uh, you have picked out two giovanni's christmas and a gold mu ex so we're doing those three for this entire stack right here we have ourselves a deal shake all right it's a deal so you can't take it back now you can have that so you don't mess them up. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll bring this back to you. Uh, sure. <laughs> you, you really don't care. Do you? <laughs> and then hopping over here, doing a trade for um, this uh, full art Pokemon Center lady. It's more on the lightly played side, but I know there was definitely some stuff in here that I needed. Possibly the Flamigo. Right there is Flamigo for trade. Yes. Yes. I don't know why not. Okay. Okay. Would you trade it for that oh, one right there? Uh, yeah. We don't. We don't need your. Uh, don't need your partner upset with you. At all. No. No. Okay. So Leafy on Vmax. Not a possibility. Obviously, it's it's not an even trade there. The official Pokemon Center lady trade is about to happen. So about to switch hands. I want to hand that to you. There you go. You've been wanting that one. And then I need these illustration rares as well as the prize packs the reggie drago v the alolan vulpix which i saw at the very last minute and the gimme ghoul as well so those were the pokemon center lady do we have ourselves a deal we do indeed all right and you get to keep the leafy on for now are you happy about that <laughs> i think i'm gonna do it it's one week later here at the danger room it's league night once again and I think I'm gonna take Angel up on that trade. Here it is. I'm taking Angel up on the trade. We got the Cosmic Eclipse booster box. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I think the trade's gonna happen. This is like a $700, $800 booster box right here. I think I might let it go. It's league night once again. Let's see if this big trade actually happens. And if you're looking for a Pokemon League in your area, head over to the Pokemon site, go to the Play Pokemon section, type in your zip code, and then it will show you all the official Pokemon Leagues near you. I highly recommend on going, even if you don't know how to play the Pokemon TCG, there is going to be a professor there that will teach you how to play. And you're going to create memories along the way, and honestly, that's what it's all about. So set a Pokemon goal for yourself this year and give your local Pokemon League a try. Signed in. We got some more prize packs to open up for a 10 league so we'll open those up at the end and see if we can add them to the impossible impossible binder that we're putting together all right we're here i think i think we're gonna make the trade happen you you like really convinced me last week to, to make this trade happen i mean you put these in front of my face and i'm like oh great great gold stars right here entei suicune gold stars we got some secret rares of charmander charmeleon articuno which is actually legendary collection blaine's charizard uh, we got the Charizard from the uh, prize pack series, which I believe that's prize pack series one mm -hmm. for the Charizard. But all of this right here is, what'd you say the total was? $720.71. Does that, that doesn't make us even though, does it? No, no it doesn't? You it doesn't. Got oh, I've got a long way to go. I've got a long way to go. So for the Cosmic Eclipse booster box, what is it, what's that sitting at right now? Do you know off the top um, of your head? Like 50 something 850 something mm -hmm. okay so a little a little off right there we got some cards that we're gonna look through right here some stuff in the binder we got some more prize pack stuff cards stuff over here somewhere we got this stack you got um binders of reverse hollows and stuff from older sets so i think we're gonna make this happen i'm going through this stack right here and i've already picked out a couple more cards that i need the suicune from pop series 2 we got the suicune Entei and raikou from neo era we got some random reverse hollows up here. Obviously the seal from Dragon Frontiers. And uh, I do need this Charizard, this promo Charizard from Sun and Moon. I opened up two of these collector chests when they originally came out. However, I cannot find this promo anywhere within my card. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up another one just in case I never come across it because it's one of the last few that I need for the Sun and Moon promo binder. We got this nice Honchcrow, which 
It does have a little bit of a crease in the bottom, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the Haunch Crow. Just like random vintage stuff inside of this stack. Oh, look at that. He's got the binders over there. So I'm jumping into some of these binders that Angel brought in and I'm just gonna like find some comms and uncommons, reverse hollows that I might possibly need. Cause like, I think I need randomly need that Aeron possibly, that Pupitar. What else is inside of this binder? Oh, look, see, reverse hollow Bronzor. Oh, look, there's a nice uh, Salamance right there. Rare Salamance, I know I need that one. So I'll probably grab that out as well. Oh, a Psyduck. I feel like I should be obliged to make sure that I get that one in the trade. Think, am, I, am I gonna trade this one off to you? Well, yeah. You, you think so? Well, All right, oh yeah, yeah, let's make it happen. Let's make it, grab your binder as well and uh, I'll look through that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna trade it off here. The Coridon. I looked through this entire binder and actually picked out some very random things that I needed that I didn't expect that I would be picking out. But over here, this Tropius, it's not in the best of condition. The back of it is a little rough, but uh, I still need it nonetheless. We got this Articuno Sun and Moon promo, which I weirdly need. And this is the last Lost Thunder uh, pre-release promo that I need this Tapu Lele. So those three for that special illustration Coridon. Do we have ourselves a deal? Yes. Boom, it's a deal. All right, we're gonna do a quick trade right here. We got Sil Valley GX, Sun and Moon Era, Ultra Prism. And these two for the impossible binder, we got the Cramorant and we got the Rev Room. So those two for that one, do we have ourselves a deal? Yep. Boom, it's a deal. All right, I think we worked something out. It's closing time. <laughs> so we're gonna go out to the car and then we're gonna officially shake on it. We have figured out a deal. I will reveal what I got when we get back to the collection room. But here is the Cosmic Eclipse booster box sealed. Ooh. I originally bought that to open up on the channel in a video in 2020. Okay. And then I never got around to it. And then the price just like skyrocketed <laughs> on it. Well, I was like, I guess maybe I'll hold on to it at this point. Yeah, honestly. Well, so there we go. All right. Do we have ourselves a deal? Absolutely. Uh, it's a deal. <laughs> I can't believe I got rid of it. That's my only one too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, uh, all right. Well, congratulations. And I'll show you what I ended up getting. Back in the collection room, adding Seismitoad EX to the Furious Fist binder right here. Just getting a couple more ultra rares. There's not a whole lot inside of that set and comparing it to uh, sets in like Scarlet and Violet era. It seems like we've come a long way when it comes to ultra rares because literally that's like the entire page of like ultra rare <laughs> right there. There'd be like one over here and then those other spots. That's it. That, that's it. That's literally And then we it. have this. I know, it's absolutely wild, but we have two weeks worth of trade nights to go through and breaking family. We have a huge update to the impossible Pokemon card binders. You all said I had to do it and collect the prize pack cards. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. That's uh, a lot of work there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm excited to do it, but it was a lot of work to put them together. It was, but let's add in all the other stuff and I'll also reveal everything that we got in the trade from Angel where I traded over um, some, some other cards along with that Cosmic Eclipse booster box, which is like 800 some dollars in trade value. But either way, let's jump into this binder right here. We have Paradox Rift. Adding in a few cards, we got Gimme Ghoul right here going into the binder. Whoop. And oh, look at that, another illustration rare going in as well. Whoop. Just missing a couple right here on this page. Not a not a crazy amount, but a couple. And uh, going working our way back, we have Beach Court. Boom, right here, which should go about right over here. I think we might have all the golds at this point, maybe missing one more. No, maybe not. I can't think off the top of my head, but you can see we're still missing just a few more Paradox Rift cards. Continuing on, Paldea Evolved. I'm thinking that this is gonna be a very, very nice set to eventually complete. We got the Grusha right there, and you can see, so close. So close, there's a card missing right down there. We got a few over here, not bad at all. Look at that, that page is complete. Scarlet and Violet base set, adding in that Toad School right there, so cool. And that completes the entire page right there in the Scarlet and Violet 
binder, missing a few more, three right there, and completing another page with that full art Arvin. Boom, look at that. That looks beautiful once it's all complete right there. And all of that's complete. So we're literally just missing these three cards right here. And then we're done. We're done with Scarlet and Violet base set after that. That's absolutely wild. And I should have mentioned that once we get to the prize packs, we are gonna be opening up some more prize pack cards that we've gotten at League. So we got a Pokemon card opening coming up and there could be a possibility of a Charizard in one of these. And if it's in this one, whew. Okay, if it's in this one, that's a big one. That's a big one, but we'll see. Over here, we have the Sun and Moon promo binder, yes. We collect everything at this point. Articuno going into the binder. You can see right here with the Sun and Moon promo binder, literally almost an entire era of Pokemon complete. Just a few, probably I would say about 20 we are missing inside of this binder. Um, and I think three of them are obviously going to be the world championship cards, but um, you know, maybe maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get those, be able to trade somebody. But here is what I got, Trading Angel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything. We're not adding everything into the binder, but here is a nice stack of cards that I got from Angel right here. A lot of really good reverse hollows. Look at that Dragon Frontiers right there. Unknown, obviously trying to get a lot of those vintage hollows as well. But a nice stack of Pokemon cards that we will eventually add to the official Pokemon card library. We got an Ominite right there, a little bit damaged, but that's all right. It'll still look nice inside of the binder. Ooh, look at that. We got some Expedition right there. Hot, 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 hot. And look at that. Legendary Collection Articuno. And we traded for this Charizard, but unfortunately, I didn't realize I already had it, Marie. What? I, yeah, I already had. I do this a lot. I trade for things that I already have. It's hard to keep the list updated. Well, you need to work on that. Periodically. Well, you got to work on that. I need to hire somebody to just constantly keep track of my list at yeah. this point. Right. And then we got these cards right here. And you can see right on top is a gold star. A gold star Entei. And that's a big one. That's a big one, Breaking Family. But first, let's start off with some of these other cards that we got from Angel. Um, <clears throat> can't reveal everything at once here. Oh, 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 okay. This one, this one right here. We got a Pop Series 2 Suicune right there. Very, very nice. Suicune going in the binder right there. This is all of the Pop Series right here. So all Pop Series has its own binder. I am missing a good amount, but we also have a good amount too. We got that nice Deoxys EX right down there as well. We got a lot of, a lot of good stuff inside of here. Next up, we actually need to jump back into the Sun and Moon binder right here because we ended up getting, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sure I have this somewhere around the house, but I can't find it. I can't find it though. I, so I just decided to trade for it. It's gonna save some time. We got Charizard. With That's Angel, it's always Charizard. True. Whoop. Right there, okay. It's th This was from one of the last collection tins that they released in the Sun and Moon era. These three cards came inside of it. And uh, I already had these two, but I can't find the Charizard anywhere. So I just went ahead and traded for one, save myself some stress when it comes to that situation. Oh, okay. Time to go into the Neo era. Three right here and they all kind of go together. We got Suicune, Raikou, and Entei right there. Traded for all three of those. They are not first edition, but we still needed them for the binder. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Next up, we have Jim's challenge. Now this is different than Jim challenge. This is Jim and it's his challenge. Blaine Charizard from Jim's Challenge right there. Can we put a picture of Jim? You stop right now. <laughs> All right, we got Charizard going into the binder right there. It is not first edition, but it is still a Charizard we needed for Jim's Challenge. Next up, these two, these two go together right here. These two go together and I believe Secret Rares as well. We got the Charmander and Charmeleon right there. We don't have the Charizard to go with them, but we do still have the Charmander and Charmeleon, kind of uh, reminiscent of the base set artwork right there. So let's go ahead and add those in. Whoop. And, whoop. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. We even got one of the shinies 
that go in the set right there. A little bit of a shiny subset, but shiny Duskull. All right, now the big ones. The big ones right here. Before we get into the impossible Pokemon binders, we got, oh, and you already know what they are. You already know what they are. We got Gold Stars, Gold Star Pokemon cards of Entei and Suicune officially going into the Pokemon card library. I can't believe Angel actually traded me these. I, Angel, I know you're watching. I know you're watching right now. I can't believe you did it. I can't believe you did it, Angel, but you really wanted that booster box. So I appreciate it very, very much. And you know it's got a safe spot right here in the collection. Gold Star Entei going in the binder and it's buddy Gold Star Suicune going in the binder. We just need that Raikou right there to finish off the trio. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one. I mean, what might be one of the biggest trades we've ever done at Pokemon League. Also, I got these two binders from uh, Angel as well <laughs> in that trade. He actually gave me this one. He's like, you can just have this one right here. So um, we're gonna go through it uh, eventually here soon and uh, see if there is any cards in here, especially reverse hollows that we might need. A lot of it is gonna be more of, you know, newer stuff, XY era, black and white era. So we're gonna go through those eventually and uh, see what all we need. This one I did kind of trade for with our big trade. And uh, this one is definitely more along the vintage side right here. We're talking base set, jungle and fossil, just random. Random commons, uncommons, random rares, as well as random reverse hollows. Now, not so much for those I was interested in, but it's when we get into this era right here. A lot of these, I feel like I'm still gonna need. Look at this, reverse hollow right down there. Reverse hollow bronzor. And then, you know, just keep going. There's definitely cards that we need for the Pokemon card library. So we're eventually gonna have to go through these, get those all out and added to the official Pokemon card library. Another reverse aloe. I had to save the Psyduck. Had to save the Psyduck and put it in the collection. A lot of good cards in here. A lot of good cards in here. So we'll eventually get to that, but I just wanted to show you kind of what else came inside of the collection. More random reverse aloes. So definitely, definitely need those reverse aloes. But it is time to get into the impossible Pokemon card binders. And uh, right now I'm gonna show you an updated updated um series one series two and series three and on your screen right now is all of the cards that i got from angel that were um prize pack series cards uh in that trade and then right now what you're seeing is all of the prize pack cards that i got through the past two weeks at Pokemon League, and those are currently in the binders right now. So if we do a little bit of an update from what you saw earlier at the start of the video, this is series one right here. So I know it seem, doesn't seem like a huge update, but these are extremely hard to complete. I, I personally, I'm sure somebody else is doing it, but I personally don't know anybody that is trying to get every single card, hollow and non-hollow, from the prize pack series. I mean, it almost seems impossible to do because you can literally only get these packs when you go to your local Pokemon League or an officially organized and ran Pokemon tournament, like a league challenge, a cup, something like that. So those are the only way you can get series one, series two, and series three. It's literally the only way you can get these. So uh, you can't go to a store and buy them. But here is series two right here. You can see a little bit of an update. Series two is a little bit rough for us. Um, our local league didn't get a lot of series two in when it came out. So it is definitely the set that we're probably missing the most from. So a lot of trading is gonna have to happen for that one. And then right here, series three, which our store got the most out of any series. And it's the current one that they're on right now. The, a big update to series three. You know, the leagues are in full swing right now. Once the leagues officially started back up, that's when we started seeing series one. So it kind of moved pretty fast, but we're on series three right now. A lot of these are competitive cards that you can add to your deck. So there's also some cards that people really want. Charizard, Marie Charizard's in here. I know how much you love Charizard. I'm gonna stop this recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, open up some series three. Yeah. Open up some Series 3 and see if we can add anything to the binder right here. All right, here we go. 
Now, we got all of these at our local Pokemon League. So these, I just never opened up because I was like, maybe we'll open up for a future video. These we got the past two weeks. So let's open some up right now. Radiant Charizard is going to be the big one that we want from this one. Pack number one, Radiant Charizard is going to be your biggest card from Series 3. We have Serena, which we already do have. Mm -hmm. Electric Generator, I believe we have that one. I think we have the Hollow version. Oh, so we might need that one. Halucha! I know we have that one. Have I know we have that one. Oh, Ooh, nice! A Alolan Vulpix V, which I know we do need that one. We have the V Star, and there is the energy and the code card right there. So nice. We got that Alolan Vulpix V, adding that one into the binder. Let's go ahead and go into the next pack. Marie, you sure that last one wasn't yours? I mean, yeah, it might be. Okay, so well, this one's not yours then. We That's all I'm that. saying. We don't know that yet. All right, here we go. We have a Miriam going into Colrus's experiment. Oh, oh, I know we needed that one. Yes, we did. I know we needed that one. And the switch, I believe yep. we needed as well. Both of those going into the binder. And there is your fire energy and another code card. Yeah, this one wasn't mine. No, okay, that one was mine. That, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> going into the next one. Is this one yours? I don't know. We have a rare candy, Muck. Going into Annihilate, which I believe we need that Annihilate. Oh, we definitely need that need one. That, yeah. Definitely need that one. Oh, Ooh. and the Radiant Steelix. We need that one as very well. Nice. Very, very awesome. There's the code card right there. The only main difference about these is the little play logo right there in the bottom corner. But if you like collecting this kind of stuff, then, you know, it makes sense to want to have an entire binder, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not literally impossible to do, Just right? Take, take I mean, you can't time. go to the store and buy these packs. You can only get them by participating in a league or a tournament. It's not impossible. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. That yeah. last was this one. Is this one mine or yours? This one's mine. Okay. Okay. We have Roseanne's backup, Tornadus, Grodel, definitely yours. Definitely mm. yours. And a Magma Basin Energy and the Code Card right there. Now we move along into Series Two. Series Two. Now there are. I will say there are some that we have that are not inside this binder or any of these binders because they're inside of Marie's binders with the, like the Leafeon V oh, yeah. that we've traded for over the past, you know, like year-ish. Yeah. 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 They're in your binder. They're so in they're, my binder. Not, they're not in the, you're in your evolution binder. So well, it was my maybe, turn to get dibs first. Maybe so. I'll pull one right here. All right, here we go. We'll see. We'll see. We got rare candy, Roseanne's backup. Galarian Articuno. Ooh, Malamar. We needed the Malamar, actually. And the Level Ball and Fighting Energy. There is the code card right here. Now, we're not going to end on this pack. There's one more pack we're going to end on. Here we go. Let's open up Series 1, see if there's anything we can add to the binder. <sighs> series 1 binder. Let's see that Charizard. Come on, Charizard. We got Boost Shake, Evolution Incense, Bronzong. I know we have that Bronzong. Scoop up net. We do need that scoop up net. Okay. And oh, nice oh. Galarian Articuno V, another ultra rare. Nice. Okay. There's the code card right here. It's not impossible. It's, it's not impossible at all. It's definitely not impossible to complete all three of these binders. And these not are not even. You can't even, can't even buy these in stores. Deep breath. You can't even buy these in stores. It's not Deep impossible. Breath. It's, it's Nate? impossible. Nate? It's impossible. I think we should end on some. Shiny Pokemon. Yeah. That's what I think we should end on it right here. We got Paldean Fates right here. Nice shiny Fido. You got the nice sticker as well. That's going to go to you, Marie. Thank you. You have the sticker collection, I not do. me. Now, let's see if we can end on any shiny Pokemon right here. If there's a Charizard in here, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. I already pulled the Charizard. I already pulled it. It was in Saturday's video. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. You know what you also said in that video? I'm editing the video today. <laughs> John is on vacation. Uh, that means I can say, you know, I can say things like, mm, Flareon, not the best Pokemon ever, all right? Uh, you know, it is John's favorite Pokemon, but he's not here to defend himself. So you're telling me that I'm absent from editing one video and you have to say that? You know, if I remember correctly, Marie's favorite Pokemon is also Flareon, so. What does she have to say about that, hmm? Flareon's just clearly the winner here. I mean, look at this. And only one Psyduck card. All right, it's not that good. Psyduck? Hmm. 
We got not two rare candy, cottony, going into a pine company, charmeleon. All right, shiny, shiny. Oh, there we go, hey. shiny Kleppa. We we love Kleppa, so absolutely would we'll take that. Professor's research and no other shiny behind that one. However, we do have that shiny Kleppa, so I want to save Don Dozo for very very last. Oh, okay. Don Dozo's going last. All right. It's got. It's, that it's, was that was a choice. It's got the relations to the uh, Tatsugiri, and I love Tatsugiri. That was a choice. We got Greebird. You saying it's a bad choice? I never said that. It, it a, sounded like you're saying it's a bad choice. It's a dash booty. Oh, Ooh. nice. We got Tink Tinks, shiny Tink Tinks, and Hi. a Zap Two for the rare. There's the code <laughs> card right there. So two shinies. Can we go three for three? I hope we can. You think we can go three for it's three? It's more fun if we can go three for three. All right, here we go. Now, Marie, yeah. you got to read them off. I don't get oh. to see what they are. All right. You ready? Yeah. We got a haunt, haunt, haunt. All right. Natu, a uh, Paldean, or yeah, Whooper. Whooper. <laughs> Tandem Mouse. Iono. 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 Kilowattro. I need that. Artisan. A Reverse Golden Go. All right. Oh, so that means in breaking family, we are ending on. I think the drummer's back from okay. vacation. Okay. I think the drummer's back. Okay. Can I get a drum roll, please? I mean, he's upstairs. Uh, yep, yep. Gotta make sure that he's back from vacation. Oh, he is! Hey. Thank you! Thank you! All right, everybody's back from vacation now, Yay. I think. In Breaking Family, we are ending on... Reverse Mouse And... Professor! Oh, Professor! You ruined the party! Breaking Family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, we love every single one of you. All around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five. It's not impossible, is it?